The Wolfpack 5 was an animatronic show produced by Creative Engineering and Aaron Fector in 1978. This show was a predecessor to the Rock of Fire Explosion, which was an animatronic show seen at all Showbiz Pizza Place restaurants from 1980 to 1993. The Wolfpack 5 would be seen at the 1978 and 1979 IAAPA conventions and at least 10 shows were produced for theme parks and restaurants over the late 1970s and early 1980s. Most of these shows have been forgotten about, and very few have survived into the present day. So in this video, I will explain the history of all the known Wolfpack 5 installations. Pyramid Place was a venue housing various attractions in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada that opened in May 1979. The venue opened with a Wolfpack 5, making it one of the very first Wolfpack 5 shows ever produced. It was first mentioned in an advertisement for Pyramid Place in July 1979, which talked about the show and had a drawing of Beach Bear. The show would be placed on one stage. Wolfman wore a pink tuxedo and a black bow tie. Fats wore a purple tuxedo and played a white grand piano instead of his usual upright piano. And Dingo wore a black turtleneck and a white overshirt. The animatronic was also elevated on a wooden platform. His drum head wasn't customized by Pyramid Place and was completely blank. Beach Bear wore a pair of red shorts, and Queenie wore a dress that was light pink at the top and dark pink at the bottom. The show would be called The Good Times Jamboree and would be located in a room called The Good Times Room, which had an arcade and a theater. Walkaround characters were also produced by Pyramid Place for Beach Bear and Wolfman. They could be seen in these photos. The two walk-around characters are referred to as Pyramid Place's mascots, so this could mean the Wolfpack 5 played an important role in the venue. In an unknown year in the early 1980s, new masks were created for all of the characters, all of which looked very odd. In 1984, Pyramid Place permanently closed after a large fire. It is unknown if the Wolfpack 5 show was saved from the building or destroyed by the fire. King's Dominion is an amusement park in Doswell, Virginia that opened in 1975. Sometime in 1979, a Wolfpack 5 show would be installed in the park. Where the show was installed is unclear, but according to a user in a forum thread, the Wolfpack 5 show was located in a dining area of a restaurant called Livingston's in the park to replace a film that was shown in a theater. This information is not confirmed. It was a one-stage show. The stage was tropical themed with a white background and had cutouts of palm trees that were placed around the stage and near the characters. There was also a large cutout reading Wolfpack 5 in the background with palm trees. The show was originally advertised by A&P and a small red and white sign reading presented by A&P would be placed on the show's wall. The sign was removed sometime between 1980 and 1981. The Wolfman wore a blue tuxedo and a black bow tie. Fats also wore a blue tuxedo and his white upright piano had leaves and flowers draped over it.
The bingo animatronic had a black turtleneck and a yellow overshirt, and was placed on a small blue platform. His drum set was also customized to read King's Dominion. Beach Bear wore yellow, tropical, floral patterned shorts, and Queenie wore a dress that looked to be white on the top and lavender at the bottom. The show would be used in the King's Dominion commercial, performing Banana Hill in 1979. The clip was 7 seconds long and was shown at the very beginning of the commercial. Wait till you see what's new at King's Dominion this year. In 1981, the King's Dominion show appeared on a segment of a kid's show called Romper Room and Friends. The footage resurfaced in 2017 and is now viewable on YouTube. What happened to the show is not known at this time, though they are said to have been repurposed into a unique animatronic show for living stints that also used parts from a Rockefeller explosion show from a show's pizza place location. All animatronics for this show were retrofitted into new characters and had custom programming that didn't use any songs from Creative Engineering. According to a different user in the thread, the animatronic show caught fire one night and Beach Bear's face melted and since Mitzi was positioned close to him, she caught fire as well. They were then put away in the Kingswood Amphitheater's basement and in 2001, they were thrown out into a graveyard for roller coasters. The user is unsure about the whereabouts of the other animatronics. The user is probably mistaking the Wolfpack 5 characters for the Rockefeller Explosion because he uses the names of the Rockefeller Explosion characters instead of the Wolfpack 5s. A commenter on a video about the King's Dominion Wolfpack 5 also stated that the characters were put away into storage to rot and were possibly sold. None of this information is confirmed so it shouldn't be taken as fact. What actually happened to King Dominion's Wolfpack 5 show is still unclear. La Ronde is an amusement park located in Montreal, Quebec. The park was the site of the 1967 World's Fair. The site contained pavilions that were originally constructed for the World's Fair. But when the expo finished, the land and its pavilions continued to operate as an expedition called Man and His World. Sometime in 1979, the Wolfpack 5 would be installed at the Man in His World exhibition. The show was placed on a single stage surrounded by lights and a blue border. The Wolfman animatronic wore a golden tuxedo and a black bow tie. The Fats animatronic was set up with a pink upright piano and wore a blue tuxedo. The Dingo animatronic was placed on a large blue platform and wore a pink turtleneck with a silver overshirt. And his drum set was still labeled Wolfpack 5. Though it would be removed in the early 1980s, the Beach Bear animatronic wore a primarily green tropical floral patterned pair of shorts 
and Queenie had her nails painted pink and wore a dress that was white on the top and red at the bottom. Sometime in the early 1980s, the original blue background on the stage would be removed and replaced with a yellow and green background. The show would run at the park for just five years until the Man in His World exhibition closed in 1984. The show was removed from the exhibit during the closure and has never been seen since. Ital Park was an amusement park in Buenos Aires, Argentina that operated from 1960 to 1990. In 1980, Ital Park received a Wolfpack 5 show. The Ital Park show would perform every half hour and was placed in a trailer. The show he was also edited to contain custom Spanish dialogue at the beginning of the show. The show was placed on one stage built into a trailer and the background had a large red sign that read Etal Park in white cursive lettering. The bottom of the stage also had text saying Etal Park. The top of the stage had images of each character and their names. All of the characters were given new names by Etal Park. Wolfman was named Wolf. Fats was named Kingo Congo. Dingo was named Bingo. Beach Bear was named Max, and Queenie was named Reina. The animatronics for this show were very unique. Wolfman wore a pink tuxedo with a black bow. Fats wore an odd tuxedo outfit only ever seen in Eats All Park's show and had a brown upright piano. Dingo wore a black turtleneck and a white overshirt and had a custom Eats All Park drum set. Beach Bear wore red patterned shorts and Queenie wore an all white dress. During the time the show was at Etal Park, some of the characters' masks began to badly deteriorate, and Queenie's mask was replaced with a low quality version that quickly began to tear. Sometime in the early 1980s, possibly 1983, the show was sent to an amusement park called Republica de los Niños in La Plata, Argentina. The show would be sent to Republica de los Niños with almost no modifications from when it was in Etal Park. Even Etal Park's name was still on the back of the stage. The only modification done was the removal of the Etal Park name on the bottom of the stage. It was replaced with text that said Republica de los Niños. In 1984, the show was used in the background of a music video for a kid's show called Pepe Payaso y Ratontito. This video was originally believed to have been filmed at Etal Park, but the video has since been proven to have actually been filmed at Republica de los Niños, because the park's name was on the bottom of the trailer. The animatronics were in bad condition. Their masks looked incorrectly furred or as if the fur around them had been cut away. By the time they were moved to Republica de los Niños, the areas around the animatronics' mouths had begun to crack and break apart. The show would remain at Republica de los Niños for several years until it was sold to Beto Carrero World for their opening in 1991 and would perform there for around 5 years. Their location is now unknown. Beto Carrero World is a theme park in Santa Catarina, Brazil that opened in 1991. The park received a Wolfpack 5 show for their opening and we'll call it the Country Plaza Band Show. 
The Airwolf Pack 5 show had originally come from the República de los Niños Park, which was sent to them by Eitel Park, which is why the show tape contains some Spanish dialogue at the beginning of the show, from when it was owned by Eitel Park. The audio for the show is high-pitched and distorted. The show is placed on a large elevated stage in the park's food court. Cosmetics on the animatronics were kept the same for when it was Etel Park's show. Even the badly deteriorated masks on some of the characters were kept. In the years that operated at Beto Carrero World, the show would start to heavily deteriorate. The characters could be seen barely moving in this 1990s video. The show's curtains were closed in the late 1990s, with the show possibly still being under it. It would remain that way for around a decade until 2007 when it was removed during a remodel. What happened to the show is now unknown, but it is believed that they were most likely destroyed. Fame City was a venue located in Houston, Texas that operated from the 1980s to the 1990s. A Wolfpack 5 show would be installed at Fame City, most likely for the venue's opening. Their Wolfpack 5 show appeared in a commercial for the venue in 1989. Not a lot of the stage is visible, but it looks to have had one stage. The commercial shows the fats, Dingo, Wolfman, and Queenie animatronics. A little bit of beach bear could also be seen. Wolfman appears to have a golden tuxedo and a black bow, but the color of Fats' suit cannot be seen due to the low quality of the footage. Dingo's clothes colors cannot be seen either. Beach Bear's bottom half was not visible, so we don't know what kind of shorts he was wearing. Queenie wore a dress that was white on the top and pink at the bottom. This commercial is the only piece of evidence proving that Fame City had a Wolfpack 5 show. The show was most likely removed when Fame City closed in the 1990s. What happened to Fame City's show after the closure is unknown. Sometime in the late 1970s or early 1980s, there was a Wolfpack 5 traveling show. The show traveled to different places around the United States to perform. The show appeared to have a black background and had a glass barrier in front of the stage. It is unknown what the other characters were wearing since only a photo of Wolfman has been found. Wolfman wore a blue tuxedo with a black bow tie. How long the show is used for is unknown, and its whereabouts are a complete mystery. Around the same time the United States show was produced, another Wolfpack 5 show was made and sent to Europe to be used as a traveling show. Nothing is known about the show other than this. 
Its whereabouts are now unknown, though it is speculated to have been purchased by an amusement park called Spree Park in Berlin, Germany, and then retrofitted into a bear show. No photos of the Europe Wolfpack 5 show have ever been found. Spree Park was an amusement park in Berlin, Germany that operated from 1969 to 2002. You've probably heard about this park before since it has gained popularity for being completely abandoned with almost all attractions left over after over 20 years. In the late 1980s or early 1990s, Spree Park purchased the Wolfpack 5 show. All of the characters were rearranged and retrofitted, and the show was renamed to the Crazy Critters Band. The show performed on a balcony within the park. Spree Park didn't use the Wolfpack 5 show tape and instead just played random songs for the show. It is unknown where they got their show from, but it is thought that Spree Park purchased the Traveling Europe show. But this is unconfirmed. Very little is known about the show, and only one video has been found. The show began to deteriorate, and by 2001, the show was in terrible condition and the animatronics could barely move. The Crazy Critter show would run at the park until its closure in 2002. The show was removed from its stage in the park once it closed down. The current location of the show is not known, but someone has claimed to have reached out to the owners of the park. The owners allegedly stated that they still had the Crazy Critters animatronics and were storing them in a warehouse, but were unwilling to sell them because they were planning on opening Spree Park once again. This has not been confirmed. After the original Wolfpack 5 show was displayed at the 1978 IAAPA Expo, an unknown park in Japan, possibly one in Osaka, wanted to purchase a Wolfpack 5 show. So Creative Engineering sold the park the original Wolfpack 5 show from the IAAPA Expo. The show was installed at the park sometime in 1979. The animatronics would be placed on an elevated stage, and all of the animatronics, except for Fats, kept their original wooden platforms from 1978. The top of the stage had a large sign that read Animal Band. The background also had a small sign that had Japanese text that translates to Animal Band. The bottom of the stage was blue, and the carpet on the stage was green. The curtains for the show were red, and there was also a divider between the show and the seating area. The character's original cosmetics from the 1978 IAAPA Expo were changed. Wolfman wore a blue tuxedo and a black bow tie. Fats remained the same and wore his usual gold tuxedo and played a brown upright piano instead of his original blue piano. Dingo wore a black turtleneck and a white overshirt. His drum head also went unchanged. Beach Bear went through no modifications to his cosmetics and Queenie wore a black turtleneck with a pink overshirt and black pants. The show would be seen again in 1981 at the Protopia 81 event in Japan, where it would be seen performing for attendees of the event from August 26th to September 14th, 1981. The stage, props, and character cosmetics were changed. Wolfman's original blue tuxedo was replaced with a checkered tuxedo and bow tie with a white dress shirt. Fats went completely unchanged and wore his usual golden tuxedo because piano was painted black. 
Dingle's beetle wig was removed and had been replaced with a pink hat. His original white overshirt was also replaced with a different grey shirt, and his original 1978 drumhead with the Wolfpack 5 logo had also been removed. Beach Bear went completely unchanged again, and Queenie's original outfit was removed and replaced with a long orange dress. The text that read Animal from the Animal Band sign at the top of the stage was repainted yellow, as well as the animal text in the Japanese writing on the stage. The show likely stopped being used after the event and its fate is currently unknown. In 1980, the first Showbiz Pizza Place location in Kansas City, Missouri was almost done with being converted from a pizza time theater and was set to open March 3rd of that year. Aaron Fector and Creative Engineering were creating a brand new show for Showbiz Pizza Place which he named the Rockefeller Explosion. But the restaurant's opening was quickly approaching and the Rockefeller Explosion still had not finished development leaving no animatronic show for the restaurant. Some different ideas were considered. Since the restaurant was being converted from a Chuck E. Cheese, they had the idea to use a portrait stage show, but it didn't happen for obvious reasons. Creative Engineering still had a Wolfpack 5 show in their warehouse, so a Wolfpack 5 show was sent to the location to be temporarily installed while the Rockefeller Explosion finished development. Some modifications were made to the show for the restaurant, like Queenie being modified to become a new mouse character called Minnie. This was done because the company wanted a mouse character to go with the pizza theme. Aaron Fector didn't want to change Queenie to a mouse because he thought it would be too similar to Chuck E. Cheese, but he eventually agreed. The show tape was also divided into three separate segments. Three new segments were also recorded for Showbiz Pizza Place, and the original Queenie segments were re-recorded. Aaron Factor would provide the voice for Minnie in this new version. An offstage announcer also had dialogue recorded that introduced the Wolfpack 5 to the audience, as well as closing off each segment when the show finished. The show is split into two stages. Wolfman would be placed on a small stage on the right, and the rest of the animatronics would be placed on a larger stage, left of the Wolfman stage. Due to the similarities between Showbiz Pizza's show and the 1979 IAAPA Expo show, it is likely that the IAAPA show was reused for Showbiz Pizza. Wolfman wore a black tuxedo with a black bow tie. Fats wore a golden tuxedo and played a small yellow upright piano with palm trees. Dingo had a black turtleneck and a pink jacket. His drum had also had the Showbiz Pizza Place logo on it. Beach Bear wore a pair of purple and pink tropical floral shorts. And Minnie wore a dress that appears to be white at the top and golden at the bottom. Promotional material for the Kansas City show excluded images of Beach Bear and showed images of Billy Bob instead. This was due to the company suggesting that the Hard Luck Bear show be combined with the Wolfpack 5. One of the Hard Luck Bear characters, Billy Wilbur, would eventually become Billy Bob. He was apparently meant to replace Beach Bear, but it was determined that it would be impossible to physically replace Beach Bear on the stage of the Wolfpack 5, due to technical limitations. Apparently a separate Wolfman animatronic existed in a different area of the restaurant. He was in the disco-themed room that had been converted from the original cabaret room, and had his own separate show tape. 
This show tape had 10 different shows and skits. This show tape has yet to be found and is currently lost media. The Wolfman animatronic Aaron Fector brought out of his warehouse was marked as Disco Tim, which means this Wolfman animatronic may be the one from the disco room. In early 1981, the Kansas City location replaced their Wolfpack 5 with the Rockefeller Explosion Show. The show was then sent to a showbiz pizza restaurant in Dublin, California for its opening in April 1982. The show was placed against the Rockefeller Explosion in the same showroom. The show would remain at the Dublin location, most likely until its closure in December 1985. The show would then be sent back to Creative Engineering, where it sat in crates in the building for over 30 years, until March 6, 2015, when Aaron Fector retrieved them from storage. He would document the whole thing on video, and he would upload the video to his YouTube channel. The link for his full 35-minute video will be in the description. An amusement park called Funtown Mountain in Kentucky had requested to buy the show from Creative Engineering for their grand reopening. Creative Engineering agreed to sell the show to the park after restoring it. Maintenance and repairs were done on the Wolfpack 5 animatronics. Minnie was converted back into Queenie with a new mask being made for her. Beach Bear and Wolfman also received new latex masks. The Dinko and Fats animatronics did not receive any new cosmetics by the request of Funtown Mountain. The Old Wolf Pack 5 show was expected to be installed at Funtown Mountain in June 2015, but the deal with Funtown Mountain ended up falling through because Funtown Mountain was unable to be reopened. The Wolfpack 5 was left at the Creative Engineering building and was seen by many guests during tours over the next 7 years until 2022, when it was removed from the building when Creative Engineering moved out. 